Hello, today I will be telling you about the plant cell, what it has inside, and what materials I used for each cell part. This is the nucleus, or the brain of the cell. It is the central membrane bound organelle that manages cellular functions and contains DNA. I made this out of a big plastic yellow Easter egg. This is the nucleolus. It is the organelle whose job is to produce ribosomes. I used a smaller plastic purple Easter egg and glued it inside the yellow one. This is the cytoplasm, a clear gelatinous fluid in cells. It is the site of numerous chemical reactions. I used yellow construction paper for this. This down here is the cell wall a fairly rigid structure located outside the plasma membrane of plants and it provides support and protection. This was made with green poster board and glued around two boxes. This is the plasma membrane and it is the flexible boundary between the cell and its environment. It allows materials such as water and nutrients to enter and waste products to leave. This was created with pieces of purple foam glued to the sides. This is the Golgi apparatus, and its job is to sort and pack proteins and send them to their appropriate destination. I made this out of rolled up blue construction paper. This red blob right here is a mitochondrion, and its job is to transform energy stored in food molecules. I made this out of a red fuzzy stick. This is the cytoskeleton, or the cellular framework found within the cytoplasm, composed of microtubules and microfilaments. I made this out of purple fuzzy sticks. These folds are the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, an organelle that is the site of cellular chemical reactions. It can be either rough, with ribosomes or smooth without ribosomes. I made this with brown folded construction paper. The ribosomes, where proteins are assembled, are yellow beads glued to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The blue beads scattered in the cytoplasm are the free ribosomes. Free ribosomes synthesize protein from RNA exactly the same thing that rough ER bound ribosomes do. This is the vacuole. It is a membrane bound space in the cytoplasm used for temporary storage of materials. I made this out of clear plastic and glue. These are the chloroplasts. They capture light energy and convert it to chemical energy. They are found only in plant cells. I made these out of pennies and painted them green. This over here is my legend and key and the whole thing put together is my plaque. I chose many of these materials because I was trying not to spend too much money on this project while at the same time trying my best. I wanted to make everything as simple as possible and to stick to the information given in our books. In order to build this project, it took my, me and my mother about seven hours to do the legend, the key, this video, to do the research, and to go shop for the materials. It totaled up to about another three hours or so. I want to thank my mom because she was the one who helped me the most. I hurt my arm and was incapable of doing this project on my own. I learned many things from doing this project. One, the cell is very complex and I think it is truly unbelievable how small yet important it is to the functioning of organisms. Two, there are many different organelles in it that have different jobs and it is amazing how they all function together accordingly. Lastly, I love science and art projects like these.